hi everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel and today i'll be showing you how you can make a user defined roof truss in Prota Structure 2021 at times you may want to model a particular sophisticated um, roof truss but you won't find it in the um, the wizard for the roof trusses so all you just need to do is model yours on your own all right so how are you going to do that first of all you can come to make sure you're in model tab all right then you go to the steel and then truss so you just you know try to draw a truss maybe from this column to this um column then the wizard is going to pop up you can see there are four uh, there are six truss types okay and then you can see the patterns over here at least for this one and this one they are four then the rest they have more than four patterns okay but if you now look at this and you realize that none of them has the truss you are looking for you can see there are only six truss types so if none of them have the one you are looking for all you just need to do is what create your own all right so how do you do that come to import from dxf so make sure you have your truss modeled in autocad okay so this is the truss i want to use this is the truss i need for the particular job i want to do right now so what I've done is I model this in um, AutoCAD. Just use, you know, doesn't matter. Just just model this in AutoCAD, and then you need to save as DXF. You can see model roof dot DXF. So how do you do that? Just come here, and then you go to save as. Understand? And then um, make sure it is on DXF. If it's not on DXF, just pick DXF, alright? And then you put the name, and then you save. Okay? So let me just close this because I've saved it before. Okay. So if that is done so you come back to the um let's come back to the the wizard then you're going to click on import from dxf okay so this is the model i want to import so i'm going to do that and then open so the first thing is going to do is it will bring um the trust and then it will want me to assign the end point and the start point you know the end point and the start point are the points that will be supported now i know this point should be sitting on the column and this point should be sitting on the other column all right so these two points should be supported so i will say this is the start point and this is the end point however if you want this point and this point to be sitting on the column so that you can have this point cantilevering outside of the column then you have to pick this as your start point and pick this as your end point all right so that is just it so i'll pick this point so click on pick and then pick this one click on pick and then pick this one then for the end point as well end and then click this one no then click this one okay then you click on import so you have um this so in order not to waste time you can just click on top corner and start drawing so what i have just do is click on this particular one all right then you right click you know this is um okay where it means okay so this is the roof truss all right you can see the start point you can see the support now and then you can see this one as well you can see the support so what you just need to do is you need to assign which one is top chord which one is bottom chord which one is the horizontal which one is the diagonal okay so first of all let's assign all of them so let's assign the um the top chord for now okay so let's assign the top chord for now so you click on this then you see set as top chord okay this set as top chord this set as top chord and then this how about we hold control okay we can only do it one by one set a stop chord set a stop chord set a stop chord then set a stop chord then this set a stop chord okay so let's do for the bottom chord as well so this one all of this okay set as bottom chord okay so now we are done with the bottom chord so let's do for the horizontal you can see the horizontal so select this one set as horizontal chord this one horizontal chord this one horizontal chord and then this one horizontal chord okay so let's do for the vertical um you can see if you look at this angle very well you see that this is double angle 2l you can see 2l that is when you have one angle and another angle they now weigh them together okay so make sure you select the two then you select the two of them as a um, vertical okay then what about this select the two of them then vertical then the same thing here vertical so you have to select these two um vertical 
you see that there is difference in the color okay vertical but there are two l that is two angle um vertical and then this and this vertical okay so we are only left with the diagonal so select this and then that's diagonal chord also this um diagonal chord this diagonal chord this diagonal chord this diagonal chord this diagonal is having the same thing as um, vertical diagonal chord ah this one is vertical definitely i've made mistake vertical uh -huh. yeah 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 because i can see the color so with the help of the color you can know if you've done something wrong okay so this is now done but if you look at this closely you see that the top chord is a trip whereas um the diagonal is um um angle bar if you look at the vertical it is um two angle bar if you look at the horizontal it is angle bar so these are the uh, what about the bottom chord i think that's angle bar facing the other side okay angle bar so but i don't want to use this kind of um this kind of angle uh this kind of section so you come to member to assign the sections okay so what i'm going to do is everything should be in tube if you look at the top chord you can see it is tube so let click on it um tube yes that's what i want to use exactly this is the section i want to use so click on select okay then okay then what about the bottom chord i only have one bottom chord that is that straight element okay so i want it is l bar double click on it then make sure it is in euro it doesn't matter just make sure the section you're looking for is in a particular code okay so but i'm using tube and tube is in euro so click tube then pick the five sorry okay so what about the diagonal diagonal is also too hell no i don't want that i want tube okay so tube and then no this one select select the which other one um you can see my vertical is also too hell that is two angle i think all of them are in two angle and then so five no five okay so just pick the section you want you don't need to pick my own section just pick the section you want so i'm picking this and then okay okay so all of them you can see this is the tube i have all of them right now so what you can do you go back to general then you click on save to library i'm going to save to library then the name let me give you the name trust let me say it is um trust and then group name let's say trust tube okay then description you can just you know give it description but i'm not so interested in that so just click on save okay so if that is done you know or we've edited everything so just click on um okay so you can see now it has drawn um has drawn the particular roof you want you can see so this is the roof that we we will label okay so you can go ahead to do more of it so go to modeling and then you go to still member trust okay sorry so you click here and then here now come to general so you come to general then you now load from library because that particular trust you did will be in the library because you saved to library so it will be in library so this is the one we want to use so click on it and then click on load okay and then okay okay so you will find it here okay so just go ahead and keep dropping it and then drop one here as well so you are done so this is how you create your own roof trust in um what's it called in Prota structure 2021 you can you know just let's see let's drop the um let's drop the pole line so go to steel members and then where's the pole line this is pole line so i'll pick the first one and the last one okay okay so the pole line what i think that's angle bar let's change that one to tube as well 
two two then this one should have three you see that one is five okay so let's do it like this okay so you can have your pole lines on it okay so i think that's looking good so this is how you model your roof drawers in Prota Structure 2021. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.